State Nittany Lions are on a record-breaking pace, and Kajana Carter is averaging eight yards a carry and could be headed for a Heisman Trophy. Today, he will tackle one of the fiercest defenses in the land. Simeon Rice, with 16 sacks, is number one in the nation in that category. And Dana Howard, number 40, with a dozen tackles. He'll become the all-time leader in that category in Big Ten history. Penn State today hopes to smell the roses here in Champaign. PageNet reminds you, life is a contact sport. Sorry, he's out. Has the plumber called back yet? Want to get that? No. And it's a whole lot easier if you stay in contact. Can you get that? Uh, double cheese, extra pepperoni. Will somebody please get that? Who knows more about staying in contact than PageNet, America's number one wireless messaging company. Nobody gives you better coverage coast to coast. Yeah, that pizza. <laughs> exactly. Win here, and uh, they may be ordering it in Pasadena. That's Jack. right. <laughs> well, Illinois won the flip and deferred. So here is their strong-legged young man from Coral Springs, Florida, Brett Schupine, to kick it off to the most dangerous offense in the land, averaging almost 50 points an outing. One W away from Pasadena, and here we come. And Fletcher on the one. Fletcher to the 22-yard line, where Kerry Collins will bring the offense out. And if he continues with this efficiency rating, he would become the highest in NCAA history, breaking the record Jim McMahon established back at Brigham Young. There's his backs and receivers. Danger, danger, and more danger there with that group. The offensive line is a veteran one, but one change today. Wayne Holmes steps in for the injured Marco Rivera. He will start at that left guard spot. Kajana Carter. It's a play fake. Kerry Collins on first down, deflected. Out of bounds is Whitman incomplete. Second and ten. Now defensively against the number one defensive unit in the Big Ten and one of the best in the land, Dana Howard playing his last game here in Champaign. Now in that defensive backfield, there are some nicks and bruises, and the freshman Trevor Starchill moves in at cornerback. He is number 20. Well, Dick Vermeer, what do we expect from the Nittany Lions? Well, they think they can run on these people, and they don't want to allow the Illinois defense to dictate them, so they want to go after them. Yes, they started out with a play-action pass, but they do want to establish the run. And here it is. Carter to the 25-yard line. A little over three yards, and Antoine Patton. Dick, now, last night in discussing with the coaches the game plan, as you see Patton, who's become the big hitter defensively for the Illini, we, of course, learned again that Penn State scripts 25 plays on Wednesday, and they think this has contributed to their great starts this year. They said it's developed offensive rhythm in that first quarter, and they've been very efficient. But Illinois is playing a totally different scheme of defense now, matching up 51 Kevin Hardy on Brady, the big tight end. They'll have to adjust that 25 place script. Dick, it would be huge if it's three and out. This is third and seven. I say huge for the Illini. Penn State fans want to keep it going. Here's Carter. He does not. He has stopped at the line of scrimmage by a hard-hitting defense. The ball could be down on the ground. Illinois recovered. Fumble, and the Illini have got it inside the 25. Penn State came into this ball game only losing three fumbles. Now they ran the deep eye draw play. Fullback leading it right up in the middle. Carey will take it back. They bring the linebacker right up inside. Number 40 takes on the fullback right there. He's stripped there by Edwards. Knocks him down. Kofer's involved. The ball's taken out on the way to the turf. And now moving up with his first series is Johnny Johnson, the junior from North Chicago. Greg Landry sets the offense, and Ty Dother, the lone running back, plows inside the 20-yard line. If the Illini are to have a chance, Johnson must have a very consistent game. Now, that is a superb pass efficiency rating. If he keeps it up, he could break the mark for that standard here in Illinois. Rodney Bird, number 44, moves in because of the injuries sustained by the fullbacks in this attack when they go to the two-back. The offensive line is also beaten up. Several of these fellas 
out there. They hope to go the distance. We'll have to see how it unfolds. After a five yard gain by Dothard, it is second and five for the Illini. Dothard again. Daylight. Dothard. Dothard to the five. And it's first and goal. Illini. What they want to do with that type of play is stretch the defense. They start wide at a straight at 45 degree angle to get outside. And they get the defense stretched and then up inside they go. Nice cutoff blocks on the backside. You, you get Suarez number 54 goes down and gets a nice block from the backside and that allows the cutback and they move the chains. A 14 yard run for Dothard. He has carried the first two times. The lone setback. A wing back in this formation, an extra tight end. Dilger, a superb receiver, is their main man there. Dothard again steps his way to the three yard line. This is second and goal for the Illini from the three. Rodney Bird and Ty Dothard are your running backs. They've been very good in goal to goal situations down here. Down there 20 times, 18 scores, 17 of them touchdowns. Good coaching, good execution. Short. To the one yard line where it will be third and goal and good thought <laughs> the third touchdown Illinois after the turnover they score first well that's the first touchdown Penn State's defense has given up in the first quarter they got it, got it, that stat broken early. Just a good old eye isolation play, fullback lead, Dothard up inside, gets the pads down. There they are. First Richardson for the extra point. Two touchdown underdog here in Champaign. Strikes first. A lot of emotion on the Illinois sideline right now, but it's a long way to go here. Just in the opening moments, Simeon Rice's fumble recovery. Carter coughs it up. Dothard scores the touchdown, and the underdog leads it. Shoe line because of the breeze blowing now off the plane. We'll take a little assistance as he kicks this one off. Archie and Fletcher back deep again. Into this wind. Still sends it inside. And Fletcher's bringing it out. Short of the 20 yard line. Well, Jack Aroop, big start for Simeon Rice, who had a tough time in Happy Valley a year ago. And Brent, that was the matchup we were going to tell you about. One year ago, Simeon Rice had more than his share of problems when the Illini played the Penn State Nittany Lions. You see him highlighted there, number 97. He was matched up against big old Kyle Brady, the tight end. He had more than his share of problems, though. Play after play, he was just taken right out of it, manhandled. He had the speed, but he didn't have the endurance. He didn't have the strength. So you know what he did? He went to the weight room. He worked extra hard. All year, he said, I can't wait to come back and play the Nittany Lions. He's had his chance, recovered one fumble. Carter being stretched, and Hardy runs him out of bounds on the far side. And Jack Aroot, number 51. Hardy, who we just see, plays a part in this scenario, doesn't he? Indeed, he does. You know, one of the problems is, he, while Simeon Rice leads the nation in sacks, what the coaching staff has done is put Hardy up against that Nittany Lion, the tight end, Kyle Brady. So now Simeon's going to have to go after someone else. He got the pigskin the last time. Dick, what do you think of that changeup? Well, I think it's a good changeup because he's a stand-up player, a good strong linebacker, and this is just a phase of their defense. They're going to emphasize it now all the time. Kerry Collins, stand-up incomplete. And it'll be third and...